So we gathered in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. So good morning. Good morning, Father. So uh, this is Friday, uh, Lent week five, and uh, so the mass this morning is being offered for uh, Sister Anne Estelle, whose birthday it is today. So congratulations to uh, Sister Anne. Estelle. And let us place ourselves before the Lord now and ask him to listen to all the prayers in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, grant us your forgiveness and set us free from our enslavement to sin. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me. Like a mighty champion, my persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he, is, he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise and glory to you, Lord Jesus. Praise and glory to you, Lord Jesus. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise and glory to you, Lord Jesus. And the Lord be with you. And also with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. The Jews picked up rocks uh, to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good works, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because he said, I am the Son of God. 
If I do not perform my Father's works, you do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, Kathleen uh, Norris, uh, she has a surprising thing in her book uh, called Dakota. Uh, so she presents gossip <coughs> the, uh, in a way I've never uh, uh, heard it presented before. In her chapter, The Holy Use of Gossip, the, uh, she names gossip as uh, theology translated into experience. So, <clears throat> so what she uh, maintains is gossip is how we face experience. Uh, people experience various, have various experiences of life and, uh, so the, um, and how they deal with them. And uh, so gossip is, uh, is stating what has happened uh, to someone and you know, what, how they've uh, um, uh, dealt with it. And, uh, but the, we can turn it into uh, holy gossip uh, by not putting people down, but by raising them up. And, uh, so the, um, and the ultimate aim of the psalmist is to turn sadness into joy. So if we use holy gospel strongly in the company of others, it will influence their negativity. And, uh, and that is uh, the purpose, uh, trying to build people up and get rid of negativity. However, today's readings show us an extreme and dark side of gossip. The, they wanted to, uh, to stone Jeremiah. Uh, the first reading tells us, Yes, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he can be tricked, then we will prevail and take our revenge on him. So the... Um, uh, so not very friendly. So although feeling despair, Jeremiah expresses his great faith in the Lord, who will rescue the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. So Jesus provides an inspiring example to try and understand the other's perspective and speak the truth. And so the, he threw back at them uh, scripture, as we saw, and uh, so they couldn't refi refute scripture. So any time you stand up for something that goes against popular culture or try being creative or innovative in the workplace, you will hear whisperings. Um, <clears throat> and during all such times, we need to put our faith firmly in the Lord and follow the advice of the psalmist. In my distress, I call upon the Lord. This Lent, let us pray for the grace to use gossip in a holy way, to lift up people to give voice to those who need that support, to counteract negative criticisms for positive ones. Part of, part of our uh, confirmation pledge is to affirm the goodness of others. And that we have to live out every day. Confirmation is, is not something we did uh, years ago in the church. It's something we have to live every day. And so, um, how we live out the sacrament of confirmation is affirming people. And so when we hear uh, gossip about someone, uh, try to counteract the negative with a positive. The, uh, uh, try to build up the person. Uh, that's what the Lord wants us to do, to build up the person and to give them support. The, um, the, uh, because I'm sure... Um, you know, they will appreciate the support you give them. And so let us pray this morning.
Kathleen Norris has demonstrated the benefits of holy gossip, how it can transform negative feelings into positive support. Holy Spirit, teach us how to use holy gossip productively. We pray, Lord, hear us. Confirmation, like all the sacraments, have to live out daily. We live out confirmation by affirming others in their goodness. Let us pray that we would always try to bolster up the people in our circles. We pray, Lord, Lord hear yes. us. We pray for those Christians who have had their, who have lost their faith in Jesus, that in these last days of Lent, they may rediscover the truth of his words and the beauty of his love. We pray, Lord, Lord yes. hear us. We pray for those who, like Jesus, suffered hatred and persecution for their faith, that our prayers may win them in grace of courage and fidelity. We pray, Lord, Lord hear us. us. We pray for those who are preparing for the Easter sacraments, that they will keep focused on Jesus Christ and that the all-embracing love and mercy he has given them. We pray, Lord, Lord hear us. us. So let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Father, you have shown us the wonders of your love through your Son. Keep us safe from all harm and help us to grow in grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands of may, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his church. And let us pray. God of mercy, may the gifts we present at your altar help us to achieve eternal salvation. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. As a man like us, Jesus wept for Lazarus his friend. As the eternal God, he raised Lazarus from the dead. In his love for all, Christ gives us the sacraments to lift us up to everlasting life. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayers of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in that triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation. But, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety to wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. So peace, peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin, sin of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, may we always receive the protection of this sacrifice. May it keep us safe from all harm. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the, uh, I met one of the students yesterday and uh, I said to him, I hear you missed school the other day. And he says, no, not at all. Let us uh, ask the Lord to bless us by be with us and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. The Lord be with you. Also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you.